had told me he's an NFL trainer. Uh, he said that he brought his entire stable of NFL guys down to train with you in Santa Monica in the sand. Uh, what have, where have you grown the most, and, and which NFL players helped you the most? Well, I mean, Tarek's been a huge part of my camp along with my entire team. Um, Jamal Abdullah and Julian Chua and Andy Galpin as well helped me with this weight cut. I feel phenomenal. So, you know, it, it's been more about training around those elite athletes, but everything we're doing is boxing focused. We've stepped it up. You know, we know that this is a huge fight. And so everything we've done for the past 10 weeks, I mean, actually longer than that, has really stepped it up. And so, you know, I feel phenomenal. The weight's coming off and I'm in a beautiful, beautiful position. Uh Listen to this right here. You think he bullshitting? You think he bullshitting? I think he bullshitting. Listen to this. You're, you last weighed in at your last fight, 173 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, you have to weigh in at 168 pounds. How is your weight right now? It's great. I mean, all we have to do is hit that 168 and then the 10-pound weigh-in. And But come fight night, I know I'm going to be the bigger, stronger fighter. And I can box, too. And I have athleticism. So, you know, all these things combined, I'm, I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling like the new champ. What do you weigh right now? 205 pounds. How about you, Caleb? I'm on way right now. Y'all been seeing me. If y'all follow me, y'all know. I put the link to the website right down below. I mean, the uh, press conference right down below in the description box. This was yesterday at the K.O. Plant versus Mike Lee, F.A. Ajagba versus um, Ali Aaron Demarez. That's how I'm going to pronounce his name until I hear one of the PBC announcers or um, um, Jimmy Lennon say it at the weigh-in tomorrow. I'm too Oh, they're about to say it right now. I'm watching the rest of this press conference. It's early, as you can see, not even 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The weigh-ins are in about six hours or so. Six, seven hours or so tops. We're going to be streaming the weigh-in on my other channel, T Street Uncut, as I'm building the hours of also the post-fight show is going to be there. And on that channel today, later on, we're streaming a whole fight card, the Ultimate Boxer 4. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live with FightView360.com. I cover every single major fight live. So this is going to be, even though it's all under the same undercard, and by the way, from my understanding, and, and I cover all of these pay-per-views, this is the best pay-per-view undercard I've seen in quite some time. I don't remember the last time I've seen a pay-per-view undercard this good. Maybe it's just me. From the, off the top of my head, you got... Obviously, the main event, Keith Thurman versus Manny Pacquiao. Obviously, that's a main event. Your Dennis Ugas versus Omar Figueroa is a main event. Sergey Limpignets versus John Molina Jr. is a PBC on FS1 main event. You know, Luis Neary versus Carlos Payano could also be a PBC on FS1 main event. Caleb Plant versus Mike Lee could be PBC on Fox. You know, there's something here that a lot of people aren't talking about, and maybe it's taboo to talk about. I don't know. But you got two white fighters headlining a show an Al Heyman event. Crazy. Like American white fighters. Right? Isn't that something for the white people to cheer about? Is that racism? Can we joke about that? No? Well, anyway, I'm a hype. I also like uh, Mike Lee's demeanor. So I'm going to watch the rest of this press conference because I really want to um, get y'all some clips of um, F.A. Ajagba and I want to hear what um, uh, Demarez is talking about. They're both undefeated here. Let's look at it real quick before we go. On our break. It's going to be a break for me, but like a millisecond for you guys. So here is the card. Crazy, right? So remember these two fights, Caleb Plain versus Mike Lee and F.A. Jaco versus um, Demarezin are going to be on free TV Fox. And then these four up here are going to be on the pay-per-view portion, right? Here, check this out. I've got a surprise for you. Please subscribe. It's Turkeytopia at Subway. Turkeytopia? Is that even a word? <laughs> I don't understand. Try a tasty twist on turkey. The surprisingly low-fat turkey melt with a blanket of melt delicious cheese. One bite and you're in Turkeytopia. So what's Turkeytopia? Turkey heaven. I got it. That's good. <laughs> Try a fresh toasted turkey melt with whatever you like. From juicy tomatoes to cool, crisp cucumbers. Subway, the official training restaurant of Mike Lee, and Dominican Sue, Brian Howard, and athletes everywhere. Subway, the official training. This video is old as shit. Don't you know it's my first time seeing this? I just decided, even though I kept hearing Subway Mike Lee, Subway Mike Lee. You know, all the videos that have talked about this, man, this is the first time I ever decided to bring up the press con. I meant to bring up this commercial. Well, anyway, all right, all right, all right, all right. 
Let's take a little break. Be right back. Let me watch the rest of this press conference. As you can see, I'm about uh, nine minutes in of the 17. I'm going to post it on my website, Fight View 360, and we're going to have a magnificent week. And remember, I'm covering all these fights. The Dylan White card, I'm, I'm covering all of them. I'm covering all of them. And I'm covering all these fights. We'll be back. And I apologize for not doing... Let me tell you, I did a Caleb Plant Portrait of a Fighter video, but I was drinking and I had some female company. So I had to take it down because I was still hungover the next morning when I did it. But I did watch Caleb Plant's Portrait of a Fighter. And also, this morning, during my Twitter scroll feed, I found this shit right here, which I wish I never found. Y'all need to read this story. I'm going to put a link right down below in the description box. You know, it's not, you know, make of it what you want. And it is interesting that it is released during fight week, but that's how things like this are done. Now, I'm not, it's, 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 it's dark. It's a little dark, especially when you start thinking like, damn, my, you know, but whatever. Let me get back to this. Um, t Street Controversy, this is t Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. No, I eat good. I eat what I want, when I want. Uh, I'm not into all that, so... It takes 12 weeks. It's going to take him 12 weeks to get down in weight, and he thinks he can put all that back on in 24 hours. It don't work like that, but, you know, they work with football players and stuff. Boxing is a little bit different. Who are both undefeated and both from the Olympics, but... Hold up. I want you to listen to this, and now that I think about it, like, he's fucking right. That's it, Mike Lee. That's it. That's it, Mike Lee. You're on my shit list. You are on my shit list, Mike Lee, and I don't even like Caleb Plant like that. I think he's a little bit, you know, full of himself. Maybe he's just a chip on his shoulder. He's been through a lot, you know, despite the story that I read. But for Mike Lee not to show up to PBC on Fox face-to-face, -face, nah, bro. Nah. Come on, nah, bro. So listen to this. I'm going to let him, I'm, I'm, I don't know why. Maybe it's the coffee. Piccolo Joe. Maybe it's the coffee, but my gears are, are grinding. When I heard this, so I'm, I'm thinking, what is he talking about? I'm thinking, no bullshit. I'm thinking that Caleb Plant, I'm, I can't let you, I'm, I'm going to have to put the copyright disclaimer over some of it because I do want to, you know, make some money off of this video, you know. Fox, we got a little something, you know, that they take some of my videos, but whatever. Anyway, and they, let me make some money off of some, but y'all need to listen to this because I'm thinking, he's about to, I'm thinking he's about to say, did y'all notice this is the first time on PBC on Fox that two white fighters are headlining. I was like, go ahead, Mike Lee, but not in that way. Not in that way. I mean, um, Caleb Play, but not in that way. It's, it's, it's just, you know, that's this politically correct or incorrect generation waste PC shit, man. You know, society is weird these days. But listen in. Let me just shut the fuck up and let y'all listen. Caleb? Um, I think it's exciting to hear that our co-main event is a first with the heavyweights who are both undefeated and both from the Olympics. But what's ironic about that is something with Mon and Mike's fight is also a first for Fox. We're the first Fox fight out of all the main events who didn't go to LA to do a face-to-face. -face. We didn't get to sit down. Anyone else notice that? That we didn't get to sit down and do a face-to-face? -face? I'm wondering why Fox got an email saying, Mike won't be showing up and there will be no face-to-face -face because there's bad blood. First off, that's a bit of an understatement compared to all the bad bloods that, there, that there's been throughout boxing. Secondly, y'all think if there was really bad blood that Caleb Plant wouldn't show up? That I wouldn't want to be a part of that? If there was actual black, bad blood? Y'all know me better than that. So I just have a question for Mike of why we didn't get to do a face-to-face because if he really felt like he was going to beat me, since all that many people don't really know him in or outside of boxing, wouldn't he go do that face-to-face -to, -face to publicize this fight and to publicize himself? That way, after this fight, his brand would be that much bigger. That's because he knows he's not going to beat me. All that matters is what happens in the ring Saturday night. So why we didn't we do a face-to-face? -face? Tell him why we didn't do a face-to-face. -face. All that matters Saturday Why didn't we do a face-to-face? -face? We in the ring. Because he didn't want to sit in front of me. He didn't want to be in that room. Because he we'll, says what I say don't we'll do bother face -to -face him. face-to-face right now. But he didn't want to sit in that room with me by himself because he know I eat him alive. If a words didn't bother him in L.A., then why didn't we sit down in the same room together and do face to face? Because he didn't want to show up. Everybody knows you're not the brightest star in the sky here, man. Then why didn't we do face to face? Answer that. 
Because he don't have the answer. He don't want to answer in I'm front disgusted. of you guys. He don't want to say why. I, answer the question. Why didn't we do a face-to-face? -face? Saturday night is all that matters. Final answer. There you right, have it. We can't wait. There Kate, you have it. We'll send it back to you. Scared. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that. That. I've covered every PBC face to face except um, 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 Thurman Lopez. That was a mistake because I didn't get the promotional material for it. And I didn't cover Jamal James versus Antonio DeMarco. I did cover um, Terrell Goucher versus um, uh, Austin Trout. And I have watched them all. But now I cover every PBC face to face. And that's true. So basically, if you don't know what face to face is, since we got a little bit more time to kill, and after all, this is the WBO champion. W, whoa, 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 IBF, 168-pound champion. Why well, it's early, man. You know, forgive me, guys, but this is PBC face-to-face. -face. You know, and I wanted to see him and Mike Lee on this joint, now that I think about it. I would have been like, oh, shit. So you got Brian Campbell hosting, you know, and this is the, this is the layout. And Mike Lee, you sold out. You sold out. You, yo, you, yo, Mike Lee, I was rooting for you, too. Now for you to pull some old shit like that, you can't be our champ. I'm still mad at, at Sergey Kovalev and Andre Ward that they didn't do the um the uh, face off with Max Kellerman. I'm pissed about that. I'm still hot about that. That legend. Imagine watching that shit years from now. You know, 20, 30 years from now. This is legendary content. I cherish all of this shit. So, you know, it's sad when a fighter, to me, I really get pissed. I'm really pissed. You know, when fighters don't show off the media obligations like this. You know, for example, did you notice, like, Mayweather, he's so good at everything that he does in regards to boxing. Is that, did you notice all his media workouts are spectacle? The year, the time before Andre Brodo, Berto, he even, his media workout was a sparring session. Like, they're, they're media spectacles. You know, he goes hard. He'll make you wait for hours, but he go in there and he get that fucking workout done. You know, I don't. I, 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 it really, really grinds my gears when fighters fuck up obligations like this. I'm sorry. You know, these shits are not fucking cheap to put together. And for Mike Lee, for him to be in a situation where nobody don't really know you. And I didn't think I was going to be ranting on Mike Lee. This is my first time seeing the press conference. I was like, oh, shit, the waiting's later on. I got all this motherfucking time. I'm already pissed because my fucking lights on my car is acting up. So I can't go to the Tiafimo Lopez fight. So I'm like, oh, now, Mike Lee, you know what I'm saying? I got I got a rant on you, bro. Anyway, we got to look at the division. I forgot to tell you what's going to happen. Even though we're going to be covering the weigh-in, and I'm going to be getting previews and everything, you got Anthony Durrell versus David Benavidez. It's going to be happening later on this year. My bet is that it's going to be on the undercard of Spence versus Sean Porter, which, according to Lance Pugmire, is supposed to happen September the 28th. In um, L.A., Colin Smith, we don't know what the hell he's doing. So Canelo Alvarez, we, he's not fighting until December. We don't, uh, don't get me started on that. Caleb playing IVF, the winner of Peter Quill and Caleb Truax, which is supposed to be happening on August the 31st, is supposed to be the mandatory for Caleb Plant and Mike Lee. And then the winner of all of that is supposed to fight for the WBC and IBF titles. So it's kind of a mini tournament going on with the names. Like I said, um, Anthony Durrell, David Benavidez, Caleb Plant, Peter Quillen, Caleb Truax, Mike Lee. It's, you know, with, within that PBC stable. And then Chris Eubank Jr., who's supposed to be fighting John Ryder. He's kind of somewhat in the mix, too. And Avni Yildirim, who's the WBC mandatory after Anthony Benavidez, uh, Anthony Durrell and David Benavidez fight. I know there's a whole bunch to digest. But I should have did this Caleb Plant, Mike Lee video a month ago, two months ago. But a whole lot of shit going on. Now we belong to you when it comes to boxing until November. We got a lot of time on our hands, and it is early in the morning, too. The dead Piccolo Joe. What's the date? The 19th, tomorrow's the 20th. So remember, I'm going to be here tomorrow night covering all of these joints. Post-fight highlights, post-fight show on my alternate channel, T-Street Uncut. If you want a real post-fight show where you can talk your shit and ain't nobody going to block you if you're fucking getting high out there, if you're drunk, if you want the real boxing news, post-fight press conference, post-fight show, limited, brief, legal, fair use, post-fight highlights, then T Street Uncut is your place to be. Please subscribe and links to my social media right down below in the description box. 
I cover every single major fight live. This is T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. Manny Pacquiao, I told you, it's one time. He's going to feel it from the first round. I'm not A-B. I'm not all about defense. He's going to have to survive my offense.